hey guys welcome to the channel so today we are organizing this bathroom okay because it looks crazy i'm gonna show you in a second please don't judge me but i just moved in here so i'm really trying to like figure out what like how i want things to look how i want things to be organized like you know so my bathroom i've been avoiding it for a little too long and it looks like i avoided it for a little too long so let's go look at it see what's going on if you are into more organization videos make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications and follow your on instagram at kayla cake and let's get into it i probably post a little behind the scenes on instagram so if you don't follow me on there girl go follow me on there because instagram fam always gets stuff first i'm gonna organize my closet at a later date but y'all <laughs> I don't even want to show y'all this this is what we are up against oh but that's not even it y'all the entire bottom is filled to the brim with just stuff like this is like my nail stuff in here i don't even know skincare some what is that oh hair stuff like I, it's just so much like hair products a jewelry holder hair products skin products a nail clipper like what in the world so as you can see i'm dressed because i'm about to go to the container store and get it together because this is ridiculous i also have my towels over here which i'm thinking about putting in the closet but i'm not sure but i just have them there because i don't even know like when i come in this bathroom i don't even know i have no clue so we're gonna go ahead head to the container store and just figure it out it is currently 11 30 so hopefully i can get this done by at least like three o'clock okay we're at the container store i'm in the garage there's so much stuff over here there's a crate and barrel there's a sephora the temptation but you know what i'm gonna go in here okay i might go to crate and barrel i can't e i can't even lie but i'm gonna stick to my goal and just go straight into the container store come out no distractions but I'm gonna go to the um, crate and barrel really quick just to see what they have as far as coffee tables. Cause you guys know I'm still kind of decorating, still trying to figure out stuff. But okay, no Sephora, girl, no Sephora. Stardust in the moonlight is all I want to see. Look up in the night sky cause you know where to be seen. All right, so we're back from the container store and right now I'm just taking everything out off of the counter, out of the cabinets, just taking it all out and then I'm separating it by kind of category on the floor so that once I start to put them in the drawers and once I start to figure out what I'm going to put in the drawers, it just makes it a lot easier for me. Also, this is the perfect time to declutter, okay? Like you're taking everything out, you're looking, you're seeing what you have. If you don't need it, toss it. I definitely got rid of a couple of things, but again, since I just moved in here, if you didn't know, I did. But I did a huge, like a humongous declutter before I moved, so I was pretty good, but I went ahead and decluttered just a couple more things. And I did clean this previously, but I'm just going to go ahead and refresh it. So I didn't really do a super deep clean because I already did that. But just a nice little refresh before I put everything back in. So again, just trying to figure out the layout. Of course, the pipe is in the way, so I can't really fill the whole thing up with drawers. And also, I have a couple things that I don't want to put in drawers. So just trying to figure out how I want everything. And also, I did go ahead and purchase the dividers as well. You definitely do not have to. It's an extra expense. But I went ahead and just got some.
And for further organization, I went ahead and got this Dymo embossed. I think it's called an embossed label maker or something like that, y'all. I'll link it down in the description box. But this was so cool. I really love this. And it just made everything look even more organized. And I just love the aesthetic of the font and everything. Like, it was just, it was just so me. So I had to pick it up and label my drawers with it. And it's super easy. You just punch the name, you peel the back off, and you stick it on there. Super easy. And it looks good. So I'm just going to go ahead and dive right into it. Just start stuffing stuff in the drawers. Just trying to figure out exactly how I want everything. But most importantly, my goal was to have everything that I use on a daily or use most frequently right in the front. So that it's easy access. Honestly, this was kind of fun, y'all. Like, I was blasting music. I was in my zone. So that's why I'm doing a voiceover because... I was just I was just doing it you know what I mean I wasn't even really thinking I was just having fun and when we were younger like cleaning was not fun like I do not recall having fun cleaning so the fact that I'm older and I actually enjoy it you know I never would I never would have thought this day would come but I really love organizing and it's kind of like me time almost like you're really clearing and organizing the space that you exist in so it just feels good to walk into a clean organized space Also, another alternative to the dividers from the container store, because again, they can be pretty expensive. I went ahead and just used some drawer dividers that I already had on hand, and this definitely worked. So you can just use these if you want to. I'm pretty sure it'll come out a lot cheaper. I got these off of Amazon, so I'll link them down below. But I already had them, so I was like, hey, why not use them and not have to buy more um, dividers from the container store? Because I believe they are like $10 each. So as you can see, I'm stacking things on top and I actually didn't end up liking this, but a way to make this look good, I felt like it looked kind of junky is because, you know, all the different prints and brands and stuff. But if you have a bunch of stuff from one brand, as you can see, I have a bunch of Shea Moisture. If you just put all that on the top, it tends to look a lot more neat than putting just a bunch of different things on top. So that's kind of another little strategy to make it look neat, but also use the top as storage. Now for the rest of the stuff like cleaning products, toilet paper, all that type of stuff, honestly, I was going to fill this whole cabinet up with drawers, but then I was like, wait, girl, where are you going to put the rest of the stuff? So I'm glad I didn't get that many on my first trip. Um, and I did actually go back and purchase two more drawers after I kind of made sure everything fit. So yeah, I'm just kind of playing Tetris almost and just making it fit where it fits, making it look nice as possible. Okay, so... 
it's the next day and I actually went to go get two more of the drawers so I needed another one for my hair and I need another one for skincare so now I'm just kind of rearranging it just trying to see like where I want to put certain things you know like what will be easiest like what I use the most basically that needs to go clearly at the top and then stuff like maybe face masks or um like certain hair products that i don't use every single day like those can go at the bottom like that drawer of hair stuff can go at the bottom that drawer of skincare and body care can go at the bottom all the stuff that i use daily i want to put it at the top so that's pretty much what i'm doing now just trying to figure out the order of how i want everything Okay, so here's the final reveal. Everything is super organized. Looks really good. It's labeled. It's kind of like in the order that I would use it in. Looks so good. So let's kind of go through so I can explain exactly how I came to this. So I knew I wanted my toilet tissue under here. So I made sure that I was able to fit a bunch of it. And since it's super high in here, I can fit so much. So literally all of my rolls plus some um, extra ones so over here I have my cleaning products method bathroom cleaner antibacterial toilet I have some Clorox wipes back there my first aid kit all right so let's start with this first row of drawers so I actually went and got another drawer for more skincare earlier so this was two yesterday but I went ahead and added another one because I figured it would fit and then I could also just organize more stuff into the drawers instead of stacking it on the top like I did before in here I have some deodorant I have some body scrubs a body moisturizer my wax um sprays i also have some back here extra deodorants and then also i don't know if you guys can see but some extra like razor um like refills you're probably wondering why i have so many deodorants because i always would lose it so then i would always go buy one and then i would find the one that i lost and then just have this one so then i would lose another one go buy another one so that's why i have so many deodorants but i'm trying to actually transition to this native um, sensitive skin one so I'll probably no longer be using this after a while the next one is the first skincare drawer so this is pretty much everything that I use almost on a daily so this right here is 100% like my everyday um, skincare so I have my Dermalogica the ordinary I have some tea tree oil my vitamin E oil back here I have some things that I don't use daily but you know, I use it often. So I have moisturizers, face masks, like things like that. And then back here, I have all of my Dr. Dennis Gross, um, what do they call like peel pads? I have my Foreo in the pink bag and then some more little face masks. This is my second skincare drawer. So I have my aloe vera gel that I use kind of quite often, but it just didn't fit in here. I have my beauty blender cleaner, I have refills of my Dermalogica pre-cleanse. I have some jojoba oil. I also have this Murad um, exfoliating cleanser, which I use kind of often, but again, it didn't fit in this one. So there we go. Right behind this piece, which I kind of hate. I wish it wasn't here, but I mean, I guess it's necessary because you know, so I have my um, like body wash refills, like all this stuff that I already have, I just have extras. I have like hair mousse, hairspray that I don't use too often. Back there I have my wax warmer, which I use probably like once a month or so, so I don't need it often. So I just put it back there. The next one is my makeup. So once again, I tried to organize it by the things that I use on a daily. So the first is all of my like daily face products, SPF, foundations, I have some concealers, like bronzers, powders, all that type of stuff. I have my beauty blenders and my sponges that I need to wash. Oh wait, beauty blenders and brushes. But I need to wash those. And then I have everything for my eyes back here. And I have my primer and spray because they didn't fit up here. Down here, I have all of my like lip products. So all of my liners, glosses, lipsticks, stuff like that. The next two are just like 
extras so all of my extra lip liners beauty blenders whatever right here are some face products that i don't really use that often but i just have them because i like them so they go right there and then also that is my brush cleaner that i like stick onto my sink and then the little ridges help clean your brushes which i need to do like asap but you know that'll be for another day and the last one right here is for all of my hair stuff so right here i have my tampons i'm trying to figure out where i'm going to put those i'll probably get something kind of cute to go right here um since i have some room right here i couldn't put another one of these because of the pipe but maybe i could do something like i don't know right here like a little circle i don't know just to have this like right here but i don't really like the packaging so this one is all of my hair tools so i have my hair ties um bobby pins rubber bands i have my brushes combs all that type of stuff back there edge brushes the next one is hair products so i have all of my oils my olaplex oils my ogx oils um some gel curly hair products all that type of stuff heat protectant and the last one is kind of random, but I do have my Flexi Rods. I have this Shea Moisture collection that I don't really use. Um, it is okay, I guess, but I bought it. Didn't really feel like it matched up to my Mari Moisture, so I just, I just have it just in case. So yeah, I'm really, really happy about this. Like, I just feel so much better. I feel like I can breathe when I come into my bathroom. I feel like I know where things are because at first everything was on top of the sink. But now it's pretty clear. I just need to get a couple things as far as like a little bathroom set. But other than like decorative stuff, I think I'm pretty much done with my bathroom. Um, like I said, a little bathroom set, maybe like something to hold like the soap that I have or a little like container to hold my toothbrush and my toothpaste. But I'm not like, I don't know, I'm not rushing the process because I haven't found something that I really, really like for my bathroom. So I'm going to keep looking. So maybe I'll put that in another vlog or something. Um, but overall like it's okay it's functional i can you know do what i need to do in here so yeah that is it for this video hopefully it inspires you guys to get up and organize and maybe it gave you some ideas maybe you were kind of stuck on how to organize certain things the container store literally has everything so i'll link everything down below this is not sponsored by them i got this idea off of instagram also let me know down below what else i should organize i'm thinking about doing something in my kitchen maybe i'm not sure yet but we'll see i do know for sure that a closet organization video is coming because it looks insane in my closet okay but we are going to talk about that at a later date so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts down below i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next one peace